the area of a rectangle is 98 square units, find the length and the width of the rectangle. So this is our rectangle, and we know the area is 98 square units, and the length is x plus 5, and the width is x minus 2. Remember, the length is always the longer side, and the width is always the shorter side. And because the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width, we can set up an equation, solve for x, then determine the length and the width. So because the area is 98, the length is x plus 5, and the width is x minus 2, our equation would be 98 equals the quantity x plus 5 times the quantity x minus 2. Now our goal here is to solve this for x, so for the first step we'll clear the parentheses by multiplying. When multiplying two binomials, we always have four products. One, two, three, four. So we have 98 equals x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 10. Combining like terms, negative 2x plus 5x is 3x. So we have 98 equals x squared plus 3x minus 10. Because we have a quadratic equation, let's set it equal to zero and see if we can solve by factoring. So we'll subtract 98 on both sides of the equation. 98 minus 98 is zero, so we have zero equals x squared plus 3x, negative 10 minus 98 is negative 108. And now let's see if the right side will factor. So we have zero equals, if the right side does factor, it'll factor into two binomial factors. And because the first term here is x squared, we'll have a factor of x here and a factor of x here. Because the leading coefficient is one, the second terms in each binomial factor would be the factors of negative 108 that add to positive three. That's not an easy question to answer, so let's look at the prime factorization of 108. 108 is equal to two times 54, two is prime. 54 is equal to six times nine. I think we can actually stop here. Notice two times six is 12, and therefore 12 times nine is equal to 108. So 12 times nine equals 108, and we're looking for the factors of negative 108 that add to positive three. We'll use the factor of positive 12 and negative nine. Positive 12 times negative nine equals negative 108, and positive 12 plus negative nine does equal positive three. And now from here, if this product is equal to zero, either x plus 12 equals zero or x minus nine equals zero. Solving for x, we subtract 12 on both sides here, x equals negative 12. Adding nine to both sides here, we get x equals positive nine. So algebraically, we have two solutions, but of course, length has to be positive, and therefore, x cannot equal negative 12 for this application problem. So now we know that x equals nine is our solution. We can find the length and the width. The length is x plus five, and x equals nine. We have nine plus five, which equals 14 for the length. If the width is x minus two, when x equals nine, we'd have nine minus two, which equals seven. So the length is 14 units, and the width is seven units. I hope you found this helpful.